Hello, my name is Ryan Hyman. Welcome to the Flatline Fabrication Living History Project. Today in, from Hillsborough, Oregon, we're very excited to have World War II Holocaust survivor and published author Alter Wiener. How can education about the Holocaust be improved? I know that there's a lot of programs in a lot of states. There's a couple federal programs, but how do you think it, it, it could be improved? It is a very good question, especially if you ask me after speaking for 425 places. I can show you, I have letters from people who have been sentenced for life in prison. Like Kip Kinkler, for example. You know Kip Kinkler? The one who killed his parents? Mm. I recognize the name. Yeah, anyway, I have a letter from him. I cannot show it to you, but it, it, is, it has such an impact on them. And I gave, just give an example. I, I saved seven lives that I'm aware of. I have letters from students that decided to stay in school. Just yesterday, a mother called me from a school that I spoke there, and she said to me, you know, my son came home yesterday from school, and he told me, Ma, I love you, and he hugged me. He never did it before. I wondered what happened to him, if he is out of his mind. So I called the principal, and the principal told me, that you were there yesterday and you told the students how bitter life is if you have no parents. They get a different perception, you see. So I, I'm gratified, obviously, that I made a change in their life. You will see a letter in, the, in this book from a young lady, a, a senior, that her mother passed away on a brain cancer and she was devastated. She intended to kill herself. But then she heard my story. She says, oh my God, I'm blessed. I still have a daddy. I have grandparents. I have siblings. You, Mr. Wiener, at my age, lost everybody. Do you see that? That is so important when you learn how to appreciate what you have. It makes you a happier person. And you live with hope. You live with hope. Because did I ever dream that I'm going to talk to you or to talk to such an... I was uh, last week in Concordia University in Portland. It wouldn't even be in my dreams. I dreamed, I dreamt in camps to eat as much bread as I want. Mm -hmm. I dreamt to be reunited with my family, which didn't materialize. But I never dreamt that I'm going to be... You see over there, I got an honorary degree from B uh, Warner Pacific College. It wouldn't be, I didn't even dream about it. Did I ever dream that I'm going to share my life story with you? Of course not. The po my point is, you never know. You never know. As, as long as you live, there's always hope. I went the other day to a high school. When I, when I arrived, I saw police cars in commotion. I asked the teacher, what's happening here? So he said, well, a young boy here at the age of 15 just killed himself because his girlfriend broke up with him. For this you kill yourself? You, f you, you can find a, a, a prettier girl the following day. I mean, they don't find that life is meaningful. Viktor Frankl, I don't know if you read his book, Men's Search for Meaning, he was in Auschwitz for three years. And he found that life is a meaning even when you suffer. He developed a theory which is called logotherapy, which basically means that you can fight because they control what you eat, where you sleep, where you work, but nobody controls your mind. You are the one that controls your mind. It's very, very important to know, to find a meaningful life, even when not everything goes not your way. And that's what I try to convey to the students, and you, you'll be surprised how many of them uh, are being impacted. Well, once again, we're, we're really grateful that you took the time to talk to us today. And if you're interested in learning more about uh, Alter Wiener's story, his, his published book, A Name to a Number, uh, or more about Flatline Fabrication's Living History Project, please contact us at uh, www.flightlinefabrications.com and, and check out our blog page for all of our living history interviews. Uh, and Alter, we, we thank you for your time you, today. You're more than welcome. I hope that somebody listening to it, we learn and appreciate living in this blessed country.